Hi there, today I am taking part in the first match of the Remote Access League Season 4, an online tournament using Tabletop Simulator. I'm trying something different today for my video, rather than a top 5 or anything else. My aim is to write a list for a scenario. The tournament is casual format, so it doesn't matter if I change the list each time, which helps me out, because I will to try new things out. My aim is to go through my list, explain why I've chosen it for a certain scenario, and it'd be lovely if you could feed back and sort of explain to me how you think it worked, whether you think it was a terrible idea or not, and then I'll play the game, hopefully do a battle port on that, and then afterwards sort of dissect my game in horrible detail about how, how I got smashed or not. Um, so the purpose is to try and show you the workings out and the kind of thought behind the list and then kind of the process throughout and maybe learn from it and have a good time while doing it. So please let me know how you thought it went, whether you think this format works or not. And I will save you from looking at my face any longer and I'll put on the clips of the um, army being built and of the battlefield. So I'll see you later. Bye. So unmasking. The purpose of unmasking is to kill the enemy target but only if they've been previously revealed. So that is three points. To kill an enemy target, enemy target decoy but only if they've been previously revealed worth one point. To kill more decoys if they've been revealed. As you can see, all this involves revealing things. To do that, you have to actually get a console and type it in and I guess look it up on Infinity's version of Google, LF I guess it is, where it'll tell you very handily who's who. So to do that, you have to get to a console. Now the consoles will give you points anyway, but nowhere near as many as killing your enemy's target and keeping yours safe. So it's pretty important to get to a console, sharpish, push the buttons, look up in the yellow pages who is the HVT target, and take them out. So that will require a fairly quick jump to a console, and then the ability to reach out and touch their HVT who's hiding away. Okay, and here we go. On my team, I have a Shinobu. Her purpose, of course, is to hide away. I know that Combine Army has lots of horrible targets. I have seen, but not played against, things like the Avatar and other horrible tags. Her purpose is to hide away. I tend to reveal her far too early often and get her killed. I'm going to try and be clever this time. <laughs> Chance to be a fine thing, but you never know. Hide her away and try and target something really crunchy or wait till the end of the game and really help deal with anyone who's still lying around. And Aragato's purpose on the motorcycle and a shotgun is to try and wait till turn two or turn three. Try and outflank them. If I have found out the target, try and pick them off, even on a suicide run with a shotgun, it could still help me kill the target. I've got a Yama in a Harris Link. He seems really good. He has, of course, tactical awareness to help give his team a bonus order, as well as EM grenades, which is superb. He's got quite short-ranged firepower, though, so a Kenpai there with a Spitfire is to add to that. Also in that team, I've got a Tanko. Their purpose is to pad it out because they're quite cheap. A bit more armour. And a flaming spear is always handy. In a core link team, I've got a Kempi with a multi spectral visor level two, because sinkly smoke is definitely a thing. A Kaizatsu with a hacking device to help push buttons and well hack things. Unsurprisingly, a Kaizatsu with a machine gun. They're quite cheap and to be honest here, not great at shooting things, but they can be handy at a pinch for long range and also they're quite cheap. A Kaizatsu lieutenant hidden away. I haven't got a chain of command in this list, so I've got to be careful with this one. I got Zatsu for Observer, again for button pushing. In group two, I've got Yojimbo because he is amazing. He is fast, he has smoke grenades, he has crazy koalas to control the field. His mobile, I just think, is a great all rounder. Eureka Odo with a Yao Zhao to help push buttons at a distance, and of course, her engineer skills can help her unhack any of my heavy infantry. Ariokin with a rocket launcher who's going to be on arrow duty and and put a mine down turn one to make sure that my opponent doesn't feel like they're unthreatened and finally a ninja with a kill hacking device hidden away there their purpose of course is to stay hidden push buttons near the end if need be and of course any hacker that comes nearby he will jump out and try and fry their brain there we are 300 points so that is that you've seen the list you've seen the scenario you've seen the battlefield. The link to the battle port will be in 
one of these four corners at some point. And let's see how we do. I'll see you later. Bye.